ट्रैवलिंग एजुकेशनल राउंड एजुकेशनल कोर्स ऑफ राउंड फोर्टी सेवन डेट टू ई ओ या सो वी बिन गिवन वी बिन गिवन ऑन ऑफ रोड एंड the indices are numbered from zero to n. We need to go from zero uh, to n, and at every index we have an option whether to make it a stop index or not. And we need to find the expected. Uh, we need to find this where p is the expected value of difficulty of this journey. Uh, so the way we solve this question is using linearity of expectation. uh let's say we are at point 0 now uh the first interval would be of length 1 if we take 1 to be a stop vertex a stop index and the probability of taking 1 as a stop index is half so difficulty in this case would be half uh sorry uh expected difficulty in this case would be so let's say en is the expected is the expected uh, value of difficulty of this journey so value expected difficulty to reach from 0 to n let's call this en now Uh, en can be written as half. That is the probability of taking one as a stop vertex, stop stop index. Half, and in this case, the difficulty would be a one plus. We need to go from one to n. So, uh, the difficult expected difficulty would be e of n minus one. Also, another option that we have is if we don't take one to be a stop index, in that case, uh. in that case definitely the uh, if we don't take one as a stop index and we take two as a stop index in that case the uh, probability of this happening is 1 by 4 since uh, probability of not taking this is half and probability of taking this is half 1 by 4 times a1 plus a2 plus en minus 2 and this way we go on till we reach n minus 1 and for n the probability changes because all the uh probabilities from n to infinity are concentrated in n since we can't go uh, beyond it so yeah this is done now rearranging the terms we can cluster all the terms involving a1 uh, we can cluster all the terms involving a2 and so on to get this progression and this is nothing but uh, i mean we can uh maintain a few variables to so for example yeah uh and since we need to find two per n minus 1 time expectation store this value in dp and uh, yeah e of 0 is 0 fair enough i mean is very intuitive a1 is very intuitive now from e2 uh we add half times E one plus this. Let's call this two add previous. Two add previous is zero in this case. And uh, let's call this two add. And for this, for E three, two add of E two becomes two add prev. So, so two add of E three would be half times E two plus two add prev. Now this becomes two add. This is the two add of E three, and this becomes two add prev of E four. And uh, two add of e four, e four becomes half times e three plus two add prev. And this way we can keep going to find the answer. The code is very simple. Uh, the code is very simple. Just as we discussed, DPI is this value. dp 0 is 0 and we take a loop from 1 to n yeah and this is the calculation for current sum is basically this term 
each uh, each each a each ei or each dpi this is dp this is dpi ei is same as dpi uh, in our calculation mode so yeah this is set and dpi can be set to current some to tas to add that will be inf is uh, a function to like do mod division which is given by this that is binary exponent exponentiation of x to the power of mod minus 2 and binary expon exponentiation the code is this very simple uh, yeah so once this is done once to add is found we add to add to dpi set to add uh, set to add pref to to, to add and decrease current power because that will be useful in the next step and finally we report the value